Okay. So Joe and Carrie are advertising in, I guess, with Joe's wife's school. Um, yeah. They send out like six thousand, <laughs> like of these little, like pamphlets or magazines or something. Things. Yeah. So they send them out with kids, but they also send them to a bunch of businesses too. Um, yeah. That just have like advertising and things like that. So they're advertising, obviously, with elementary school. They're advertising for CrossFit kids as part of Stay Strong. Yeah. But they bought two ads, so they want to do one with EcoStar too. So this is yeah. going to be different because it's not advertising for sales reps at all. It's like just advertising the company. So, right. Um, Joe was supposed to get it to Carrie by Friday, but since he's on vacation, she asked if I could do it. So I said I'd talk to you and we'd come up with something tonight that I can give to Carrie tomorrow. Okay. Morning. Um, yeah. So I feel like it, it can be simple. It's going out basically to Troy, which hasn't gotten hit yet. So it can have something with insurance claims, but also maybe something with just like normal retail. I'm not sure. But okay, she doesn't have any of the specifics as far as like how many words should be in the advertisement or anything like that. It basically just needs to be a general like here's your logo, here's what you want to say, send it over to these people and get it proofed. So here's the thing. All right, when you're advertising for like a construction company, mm -hmm. you have to have a specific call to action and a value proposition. Because here's the thing. It's just saying in a pamphlet EcoStar, we do free roof inspections. We can help you with your insurance claim. Mm -hmm. We do free roofs. You'd be lucky to get like one or two replies because remember, it's not sexy. It's not like instant gratification. It's not exciting. It's mm -hmm. not like if you're saying, for example, um, you know, I teach piano lessons to kids. It's like that's relevant and people can see like a need for that. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking about like doing roof inspections and stuff, A, people don't get excited about home exteriors. <laughs> it's not like putting in granite countertops. It's not sexy. Mm -hmm. And they also assume they don't have damage, right? Like that's why we knock doors mm -hmm. in this industry because most of the time people just assume they don't have any damage. So we have to have something else. And so here's an idea. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys have something like, um, you know, EcoStar restorations and renovations owned by our school's very own, you know, Mrs. Salegi's family, mm -hmm. um, is still taking care of people from the 2014 hail and windstorms, get a free inspection today, and get put into a drawing for a free Google TV or something. Mm -hmm. So now you guys have, like, let's say that you get... I don't know, out of 6,000, if 2% of those people reply, let's just say, and this is a random number, you'd have 120 people of 2%. So let's cut that in half and say 1% responds. Mm -hmm. You've got 60 people still. Out of 60 people, if only 20% of those turn into jobs, you've got 12 jobs. That times your average order of let's just stick it at 15,000 mm -hmm. is 180 in revenue. That times a profit margin of 38% at a minimum, let's say. You guys are still profiting 68400 <laughs> So if you guys buy a TV for $2,500 or something, then you still have a profit of over sixty five grand. but you're getting people, you have an incentive to actually get them to respond, right? Right. <laughs> Becca, you just like why are you, you laughing? You just like beautiful mind out, like beautiful minded out, like Rain Man for like the past like thirty five seconds. With, That's what you guys pay with me for. All of your math. <laughs> it's hey, you're welcome. God damn it! But but can sure, don't you, you see? Don't you see how that idea is? way mm -hmm. more proactive and attractive than just call EcoStar. We're family owned with your school. Because mm -hmm. you might have like one person that's like, you know what? Yeah, my roof is 185 years old. Yeah, I should get a new one. 
maybe I'll get a bit, but then it gets stuck on the fridge and they never think mm -hmm. about it. Like you might get some things, but advertising something like that just, it's not like we provide doggy daycare. People see an immediate need for that. It's kind of an emotional thing. People would respond, mm -hmm. but you have to have something else for like offering inspections in, in that type of a scenario because you're putting things out and hoping to get bites instead of going out and proactively generating mm -hmm. leads. So that's probably what I would recommend is something like that. So do you think we should so, just focus on the free inspection or do you think there's anything else we should add about any of our like, because we're really not focusing on retail this year because I feel like yeah. in order for that to be successful, we would have to focus a lot more time than we're going to have this year onto that. So that's going to be right. down the road. So do you think we sure. should even include any of that? Even though, I mean, we're able to change our ad every month. So if we want to change it for May, we can. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe this first one is well, going out on May 1st. So by then we might have a Storm and Troy, but then we also might not have yeah. a Storm and Troy by then. So I'm just trying to figure out if we should offer free inspections. If for some reason there's no Storm and Troy before May 1st and they're just like, what are these people even talking about for free inspections? Here's what I, yeah, here's what I would say is I would offer just a free exterior home inspection. And right now you could position it for, guys, we just went through a pretty brutal winter. There was a ton of snow, a ton of ice, a lot of freezing and thawing. Mm -hmm. No strings attached. A free inspection. Mm -hmm. You get put in the drying for a free Google TV. And what you guys can do now is you can change the ad, but I would drop hints about you know, guys, we've had some crazy hail and windstorms over the past year or two. Whether or not you think you sustain damage from not from that, that coupled with the crazy winters we get, it's better safe than sorry to just get a once over on the house just so you have peace of mind. Mm -hmm. And here's what you guys will be able to do, Allison. Now, the more inspections that you guys get, you're building a list. You're capturing leads. Mm -hmm. So now when a storm does hit, oh, you've got a list of people. That you can just go right can, back. Mm -hmm. send an email to mm -hmm. send a postcard to them call them have your guys go to their house and be like hey so mm -hmm. i know we did an inspection back in may but now we had this huge storm i'm just in the area answering calls mm -hmm. i remembered that we came out and did an inspection you guys want me to pop up there and just double check real quick for you perfect see mm -hmm. 